And that's carport one. They have that poured while I was gone. There'll be a, starting Tuesday, I think, there'll be a rock wall coming and it'll go here and tie into the driveway here. And uh, then this whole wall right here will be tiled in a stone, in a natural stone. And then those, those holes right there, those are for lights. There's a closet right there. And then this will be our uh, rental above that. That will be Ohana 2, Ohana 1's over there. It's early in the morning, no one's here yet. Those columns right there are 13 feet up in the air. That's covering the whole entryway here. There's steps going up here and then goes up. I'll show you that. So this is where that walkway continues and then my front door goes in right here. There's a lily pad steps we're calling them because there's going to be they're they're going to be uh, well shaped like lily pads and then there'll be lots of greenery and stuff growing around them. So there's st steps here and then steps up here. So now there'll be two steps here going up to another level that actually takes you up to above this Ohana 2. And if I turn around here this is Ohana 1 and their front door is actually about right here where I'm standing. This is the back side of uh, Ohana 1 and see how we left the natural rock coming right out of the ground here. And there's my cacao tree. Boy it's really doing good. So this is that outdoor bathroom. That's a shower. Uh, toilet and then this is the sink area and then this is uh, just a rock wall down through here that only goes up six feet so this is all open and that's a long closet there that goes to bedroom number two and then that over there is the utility room this is going to be more lily pad steps uh, where that red ribbon is that's kind of the the deck out here that'll be cement and it, it goes into the Ohana one circles around here and then ties into the rocks that we already have there. These are holes dug for uh, footings for two big ohia poles that are going to support the back side of the house because the house overhangs the the lower part here so so yeah these steps uh, go up here this is the first landing and then there'll be lily pad steps up through here and then there's going to be gates right here so this is this is this could be gated off if we wanted to but this is going to be for guests to come check out and this is looking at it from the other direction that's the car or um, the utility room the door goes right here and the washer uh, the dryer washer and then this is a sink and stuff there's a door or a window here then there's another door way right there that goes into bedroom number two, which is right there. And then this is all closet that's underneath the staircase that's going to go up to our living area. And then this is carport number one. So this is the space I have between my property line and the uh, first pillar there. You can see how the driveway is going to turn and go in here. And this is carport number two, and my living area is going to be above that. And then uh, that's a two-car carport there. And then uh, this will be the next thing that we're going to pour here. Here's another uh, utility closet here. Uh, there's going to be s cement out here for trash cans and stuff. So here we park. This is our carport. You get out of here and then you walk uh, under the roof because these big things are all holding up this massive piece of roof going out here and you go up these lily pad steps up to our front door then you go up and then we'll have oh that's a color palette that we're kind of playing with I'm stuck on green right now so here in the back that wall is going to continue the the round part right there and then come to here and then there'll be a pillar here and then a pillar over here 
and then a few more steps to get you started going down here. I'll take you down there one more time. And then this uh, handrail will continue all the way over to over there. And then you see how the cement is gonna still be in the back here too. I'll take you down here. So again, this is where my little shop is gonna go, right here on Post and Pier. And then the walkway is uh, up here. And then where we were just standing is right up there. So this goes up through here and this is all gonna be lit up. I have wires and everything ready to go. And then with the extra cement that I had I, from our last pour, before I left, I did these steps. And then this will turn and go up around on the other side over here. And then we'll have this all covered. We're going to do some kind of a little covered area down here. So, and then the lighting will be um, all down through here. There's a tangerine and a lemon and a lime and an avocado that are doing pretty good there. Like that. These are some of the rocks that we're going to use for the walls that was from up here. And I have three more piles of rocks. And uh, we're going to do the biggest boulders right here on that, the big ones, because this, this really goes up, you know, at quite a slant. Now that'll all be planted in some greenery too. Here we are from down at the end of the driveway. So this is my carport, carport one, and then carport two is right here, going in this way. And then the Ohana two right there, and then Ohana one on the back side. And then that staircase I was telling you about that goes up, it goes up right there, and then all my living is up above here. Okay, those clouds are breaking up. It's going to get nice and I'm going to have some workers up here soon. So, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope everybody's well. I'm going to get back started on eBay uh, heavy. As soon as I get this concrete work done, um, I've contracted out the framing. So, I'll be up here every day but not working. I'm going to, I'm going to be doing eBay and it might be my last hurrah with that. I don't know if I'm going to continue that or not. So get it while you can. Take care.